Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mojo bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you some problems that you can solve your bike if it's bogging or if it's not idling right. So basically, if it's not idling right, um, the second you kick it on with the choke closed, if it just dies out, that means the idle's not there. You need to get it to a certain idle so it just revs and idles perfectly without even having to give a gas or anything like that. And then bogging is basically when you go to give a gas, say you just full throttle it out of from no, no throttle to a full throttle, it should be able to respond where it revs, revs up high and the RPMs are there, but if it doesn't, you'll hear it bog out, which you'll hear the power just drop. So first thing we need to do is we need to start this bike. We need to make sure that it's running. We need to make sure it's warmed up and stuff like that. To do that, you wanna open up the choke. If you don't know where the choke is, it's on the carburetor. Let me just show you guys for those that don't know. On the carburetor right here, right up in there this little black lever that you see right here this is the choke so this with it down is closed if you push it up that's an open choke so basically to start any cold bike you want to have the choke open and let me show you why i'll start with it closed and i'll show you guys what the issue is with it closed when the bike's cold if i kick the bike on and give it no gas you're going to see that it won't start over so no gas just kicking the bike i'll hold it from here it doesn't want to start up you're going to have to give a gas with the choke closed and it won't start up. Now if I have a little bit of throttle, as I kick it, it will start up. But then it dies because the idle's not there. So if we open up the choke, we're not gonna have to gas it, we're just gonna be able to kick it and it should be able to kick over. Didn't kick hard enough. wants to hold an idle with the choke open, but it seems like it's not even holding an idle with the choke open or closed. So we know that issue's probably coming somewhere from the carburetor. It could be the, could be the throttle screw right here that we can adjust. Um, if you guys can see it, it's this little screw right in here. That silver one right there that my middle finger is touching. That is the idle screw that we're going to mess with first. And then after that, we'll check the spark plug, make sure everything's good, the gap's good. And that's the first step that you want to do if you still can't resolve that issue. After that, you're going to want to take the carburetor off so we can get to the floats and the jets inside of it. But hopefully, we can fix it without that. If not, then we're going to have to open up that carburetor and show you guys what you need to do from there. So before we start this, work messing with the idle screw right here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the bike on, get it to an idle bike, just giving it a little throttle. And then we're going to adjust that screw and see if there's any change. First thing we want to do is just tighten it all the way down so we have a baseline where it starts. So that's with it tightened all the way down. You can see that it's a lot deeper in it. Um, and then we're going to start it up, see if it fixes anything. And then every time we're going to go one full turn, which is basically your uh, flathead screwdriver going like this and spinning around. This is half a turn. And then this is a full turn, which is a 360. A full 360 with your screwdriver is one full turn. So we'll do that. And then we'll play with it again and see if it works. So I'll show you guys on camera what that looks like. But right now, since we have it uh, tightened down all the way, we're going to see what the baseline looks like we're going to play with it and see what results we have right now and we're going to do this with the choke closed because the bike's already warmed up i actually took it out for a ride to warm it up now that the bike's warmed up we're going to check it with the ch closed and see what results we get Now you heard right there, it was revving up extremely high with it pushed in all the way, which is good, which means that's one of the things that we can actually adjust to have it working. So with it pushed in, it's revving too high. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this idle screw and we're gonna do a full turn. So if you look at the angle that it's at, so if you look at the angle that it's at right now, a full turn would look something like this. half a turn and that's a full turn now we're gonna do the same thing start it up see if we have any change any difference with the idle of the bike this is basically when you get a bike brand new this is the first thing you want to do if the bike's been used and worn and beat up you're gonna most likely have to clean the jets inside of it but for new riders Chinese bike riders that get it that are having this issue after like one or two rides mess with that screw
So now you guys can hear it's actually at a good idle. It's a very quick and easy fix. It's at a good idle now. If I kick it, let's see if we have to give it gas as we kick it to see if it starts up. I did have to give it a little bit of gas, but it's fine. Uh, most of these bikes you usually have to with these Chinese bikes. You just give it a little bit of gas if, if you keep the choke closed. Right now it's closed. Um, but besides that, I mean, we're at a good idle speed, so now we're gonna test if it bogs. So now that it's at a good idle, let's check if it bogs. doesn't seem to be bogging and it goes right back to the same idle after we gas it sometimes you're going to end up messing with it and if you throttle it hard to get it to see if it bogs you're going to notice sometimes it'll rev up and it'll stay at a high rev that means you have to clean the carburetor out the carburetor is dirty uh, you got to clean the jets inside of it and stuff like that i'll do another video if you guys want to see on how to clean the carburetor and everything like that but the next step you would want to do if that didn't work is take this off and then you get to the spark plug. So you want to just check the spark plug, make sure it's clean, make sure there's no like too much oil, just residue on it, and make sure the gap is good on that. But so far, I've noticed that with these new Chinese bikes, this is the first problem, which is that idle screw right in there. Every single bike, one of these bikes has it right there. Some of them have it down low on professional bikes, which makes it a little bit harder to get to. But this is, this is a perfect location for it because you can mess with it with it on. Everything's good to go. But it sounds like we're good to go. So now I'm going to go ride it real quick test ride see if it feels good to wheelie and stuff like that you can also adjust the idle screw while the bike's on it's kind of loud you're not going to be able to hear me very well but i'll show you adjusting it with it on So adjusting it while it's on actually makes it a little bit easier. If you can get it to an idle where it stays on, even if it's revving high, go ahead and adjust it while it's on so you can play with it and you can hear you don't have to keep turning it off, turning it back on and riding it. So now that we have it adjusted, we're going to go ride it up and down the street, come back, see if it still idles the same. If it doesn't, we'll adjust it and stuff like that. shit <laughs> yo i kind of went down pretty hard just now if you guys probably saw from the video i don't know if it got it in the shot i think i was too far past the camera but you heard it definitely on the mic uh kind of damaged it a little bit which is sad cracked my rear fender does suck scuffed it up big time but it's all right because this this was gonna be my wheelie bike anyways this is gonna be my bike that i practice i beat up i destroy and stuff like that i love this bike the reason i basically kind of overshot it kind of went too far back is because the choke was open the whole time now when the choke's open you're gonna feel more power there and i wasn't ready for that power man it kicked back pretty far back i didn't hit the rear brake which was my fault which is something i was practicing i even showed you guys in yesterday's video 
I was practicing it, man. I was practicing, actually, no, yeah, I was telling you about how I need to use the rear brake control um, on the bike, but sometimes when it gets too far back, I get scared and I bail out on it. It looks like nothing else is damaged. Everything looks good on it. It's just maybe the the little gear shift. The gear shift right there might uh, might have bent back a little bit. And then the fender, of course, which it sucks, but it's okay. I could probably bend these back into place, scuff this up with some sandpaper so it's not so rigid like that, and then we'll get it to work. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I should have wore a helmet. My mistake. Next time, I got you guys with a helmet. But you guys saw afterwards, I was able to knock out a wheelie pretty good. Once I closed the choke, that was my biggest issue. So that's basically how you end up fixing the bike. For those of you that are having the issues where it doesn't idle, because I know some of you guys comment saying that these cheap Chinese bikes don't idle at a shop, or it's, it's bogging, it's not feeling right, adjust that adjustment screw on it. Um, it should help out. If that doesn't work, again, if you buy a stock carburetor, if you buy the bike and it's not working, even adjusting that, and the jets are most likely clean. Check it though, clean the jets. And if it's still not working, go buy this Makuni knockoff carburetor. It's like $30. I bought it on every single bike. We got it on the Peace Moto. We got it on the Apollo 007. We have it on the RFZ Apollo. We also have it on my Teo Teo 140cc. We have the same carburetor on all of them because I actually really do love these carbs. They, they feel better. They work good. And for $30, why not? It's the best upgrade you can do for the bike. But with that being said, I'm ending the video there, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little fall. I wish I got it on camera, but you can still hear it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.